It's grocery haul time. It occurred to me that in the other video, I was not very, well, I was just very awkward in the beginning. So starting off hot, bringing the energy. So I just went to one of my favorite stores, Aldi. And I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that I got and my plan for them all for the week. Like kind of like my meal prep as well. I'll tell you my my thoughts on that. So to start off, so I kind of like to bag in order of categories. So this is produce. This is boxes and cans and then miscellaneous. So some of the things I couldn't fit in two bags. It's your good old pizzazz apples. So I get, I get these ones because they're cheap. Um, I personally my home honey crisp gal but these are way better priced. So pizzazz it is. Is the pizzazz a kind of apple or is it the brand? I guess I don't know. I don't really care either, they taste fine. Oh, also the price point for all the things. So this is my receipt. The most expensive thing I got was, it says chicken, I didn't even buy chicken. Um, I actually don't know. It says roast beef chicken. I didn't get roast beef or chicken. So I'm not sure what that's about. Anyways, I have 36 items for $90. Got all the almond milk because IBS, that's why. I always get the original because I don't like it unsweetened because it's terrible, but I don't also like the vanilla one. So unsweetened it is. 60 calories per cup, which is not terrible. And then, because I can't just drink regular water all day long, sparkling water. This is a new one. They didn't have this before, it's strawberry. They usually only have grapefruit, lime, and like lemon. This one's good. Well, I guess I don't know if it's good or not, but we'll be figuring that out, huh? Okay, now for the miscellaneous bag. So first thing is popcorn. Guess what I mean, popcorn! This one is just regular sea salt. And honestly, one of the best popcorns I've ever had. It's only 35 calories per cup. It's so like you have two cups at a time. It's like just over a hundred calories, which is a really good snack. This is like one of my, this is one of my go-to snacks. It's like the Aldi brand too. They have a couple others. They sometimes have the lesser evil, like the Himalayan pink salt one. If you've tried that one, I'll put a picture right here. But they, that, this kind is literally so good. This is all like my freezer stuff in the fridge now. So I've never tried this. This might have been what, no, this still isn't chicken. I don't get what the chicken thing was on my receipt. But so I get turkey bacon. Now I know what you're thinking. Disgusting. But I think it might be okay. I've never tried it. So I guess we'll see. The reason why I got this is because it's only 30 calories per slice. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it up and then I'm gonna slice it. Uh, duh, it's already in slices. I'm gonna chop it and then I'm gonna put it into like a club salad type thing. Mm -hmm. So I'll give my review on this in a couple days. And then I get these. They're like the steamable in the bag veggies. This one's like a mix. And then I always get the sweet corn too. This one's super good. Um, this is really helpful when I'm like meal prepping. Like the other week I made like a KFC bowl meal prep. So I did, I, wrote, I got this corn and I'm pretty sure it's like three servings. Um, four, yeah. So I, I put like a fourth into each of my like four meals for the whole week. So those are a go-to. I got those every single time I go. And then this, this is a new find recently at Aldi. 
dairy-free mozzarella cheese. I used it in my other video. It's not terrible, but it's not great. I'm making like a meatball subs this week and I'm gonna put these on them. So hopefully they taste good. All right, that's already my miscellaneous bag. So let's move on to the box and we'll end with produce. This one is so freaking heavy, but also look at how cute the bag is. It's a waffle. And if you know me, I love waffles. All right, obviously eggs, eggs and milk every time. And then bananas. Okay, look at how big, look at how big this thing is. It's literally as big as my head. This is almond milk creamer and it's, um, when does it expire? It just expires in December. Will I finish it by December? Probably not. But this is just the vanilla non-dairy creamer. It's the only one that Aldi has. Well, they have car caramel, caramel, caramel. But I don't know. I'm more of a vanilla type gal. I am a very big beverage person, which you will learn here soon. So I got a couple of these. They were on sale for like a dollar or something. Smart waters, but they're like flavored. I'm very interested. This one's strawberry blackberry and this one's passion fruit mango. Is that what it is? Yeah. You'll be getting reviews on all these waters like later in the week. Then I got this mayo, uh, reduced fat with mayo with olive oil. It's super good. It's only 50 calories per serving, which is mayo in general isn't great, but this is a really great alternative to using regular mayo because a little less fat and a tablespoon goes a long way too. Oh, I'm making cheeseburger bites and I need mayo for the dressing. Then I got my salad dressings, avocado ranch, once again, dairy free because IBS queen, two tablespoons is 35 calories, which in retrospect is very good compared to regular ranch. Regular ranch is like 150 calories for two tablespoons. So I'll use this all day long. I should have gotten two actually, now that I'm thinking about it, whatever. This, I haven't tried this one before. This is a vinaigrette uh, balsamic glaze. Didn't even really look at this one. Two tablespoons is 90 calories. Pretty similar. Actually, no. It's a little more than the ranch, but you know, you gotta switch it up every once in a while, so. Good old staple, Mr. Feta for the salad queens. Got some hot sauce, hot sauce. I love to put hot sauce on my eggs. Didn't have any this morning, so I had to use ketchup and it was not as good. This is the off brand, it's kind of funny. It looks exactly, exactly like Frank's but it's Berman's. Don't get it twisted. Oh my gosh, look at how cute these are. Oh, be nice if I showed you the front of them. They're called Johnny Pops. First of all, dairy-free, love that for me. And they're organic. And I'm like, okay, well, what does that mean? Look at the ingredients. One popsicle is only 50 calories. It's just basically water. There's a little bit of sugar, but uh, natural cherry flavors. But yeah, I'm pretty sure these are like five bucks and there's like three of them. It's like, why not, you know? And they're red, white, and blue. Like, gotta love it. Big old thing of chicken breast because I make sandwiches when I'm lazy. And this is also good to cut up and put on top of salads uh, for like a little more protein. If you don't have like chicken made, like this is super easy, so. And then this is a controversial pick right here protein burgers that are vegan. Okay, so I don't know what's up with Aldi. All of a sudden they're going all vegan on me, which I love because dairy free a lot of the times, but so these are soy based veggie burgers with a grill flavor. That sounds promising. But 16 grams of protein per burger and it's 100 calories a burger, which is not bad actually, because I probably won't eat it with a bun. I didn't get buns, so obviously I'm not eating it with a bun. It's got a lot of sodium like any other burger, but yeah, 100 calories in per one burger and there's like four in here, so it wasn't bad. I'm, I'm gonna try it. I'll let you know my review of it, but it's like $3, so I was like, why not? You know, just, just, just take my money. And now, ground turkey. It's a staple. 
So like I said, I'm making these like cheeseburger bite things. That, and so that's what one of these containers is for. And then the other one, I'm going to make the meatball subs, like I mentioned. So there's that. All right. <laughs> Last bag, favorite bag, produce. That was interesting. Vital key to your health and wellness journey if you're trying to lose weight or slim or anything. All the produce is very long calories and you can mix with other stuff to taste good. First thing I get is lettuce heads. Um, Cause these, sometimes you can use them as wraps like for sandwiches if you don't want to use bread. Just use them as wraps or you can just chop it up and use it for salads too, but gives you the two options, you know. This one's really dirty, I just realized, but of course, you're supposed to wash it anyways, so I was going to. Next up, I'm just pulling, I don't even know what I'm grabbing, raspberries. I have Greek yogurt, and I don't have anything to top it with, so I got these to make parfaits, except I just realized I forgot the granola. Whatever. Spinach. Gotta be like Popeye. The spinach, I use this for my salads most of the time. Like this is what I'll use. And then once I run low, I'll start cutting up the lettuce, but spinach is a go-to. 20 calories for three cups, which is very, very good. Celery, very close to zero calories. And I use avocado ranch to dip them in and they're really good. Or you can make the little raisin, uh, what is it called? Ants on a log that we used to make when we were little. Or not, because you hated raisins like me. Cucumbers, just like celery, very low, very close to zero calories. And I personally love cucumbers. I throw them in my salads too. Just slice them really thin. In this bag, got my lovely staple avocados. These ones are super green. They're super hard. Um, they're not gonna be ripe for a couple of days, which is okay because I can wait. I like to put them um, on salads or on sandwiches. And then good old carrots. These are like 69 cents. And they're also um, another good, like the celery and whatnot, they're very close to zero calories. Great snacks to eat that will fill you up and are very low in calories. Protos, fruits, vegetables. Always try to get those. And if you think they're too expensive, go to Aldi because they're a lot cheaper and they have a very good variety also. So my last thing, it's kind of a surprise. More beverages, cause I love beverages. So this is Nature's Nectar Sparkling Natural Sodas. And it says there's no artificial sweeteners. Flavor is blueberry lemon which sounded very good. Okay, so like one can is 80 calories, which is, I mean, it's something, but it's also less than a actual soda, which obviously. And there's 20 grams of sugar, which is, yeah. But I haven't had a soda in a long time, so I figured I might as well splurge and have a natural one, right? Maybe, should I do a taste test for you guys? You don't have to ask me. I already will. The cans are really cute. I will say that. Here's the can. Um, they also had a couple other flavor flavors. I can't remember what they were. Here's the taste test. A little ASMR. Ooh, it smells super good. I can't tell. It's, it smells like something, but I can't tell what it smells like. Oh, I know. Blueberries and lemons. Okay, here's the first taste test. Cheers. Hold up. This is super good. It definitely tastes a little bit more sugary than I was expecting or hoping, but very good. I give this an eight out of 10. Would buy again. I actually kind of want to go back and get the other flavors now to try. Maybe I will. My second beverage is this sparkling yerba mate. Now, I don't even know what yerba mate is, 
but the packaging sold me, I will tell you that. With blackberry flavoring. I don't know. I really have no clue what it is. But see, it doesn't look pretty. One can is 40 calories. Uh, 10 grams of sugar. Ingredients, yerba mate. What is yerba mate? Upon further research, I have found that it is a traditional South American caffeinated drink. That's the thing though, it doesn't say that there's any caffeine in it. I feel like they would advertise that. Anyways, ingredients is yerba mate, sugar, blackberry juice, blackberry flavor. I'm not gonna try it now because I have this soda open. You know what? Because I love you guys, I'm gonna try it. All 10 of my subscribers. I'm already loving the can. I'm already loving it. Look at this beautiful color. Well, here's nothing. Ooh. Ooh, that smells super good. Okay, cheers. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's very different. It's like good when it first like touches your tongue and then the aftertaste kind of gets weird. My rating for this one would probably be, I give it six out of 10. Yeah, the flavor's good. The questions around it are still present as well. That's why it's a six, not an eight, like Mr. Natural Soda over here. Anyways, that's the total grocery haul. The other thing I need to say quick is that if you follow my Instagram, pretty soon I'm going to be announcing a giveaway I'm going to be doing. So make sure you go follow me on Instagram for the giveaway and to see the meals and the food that I make with all this stuff. My Instagram handle is flyfitwithsof. Last thing is, so next week I'm going to be doing Per Maddie England's request, I'm going to be doing a vitamins and um, like fitness supplements that I like. Um, I have some in mind that I'm gonna be doing, but if you guys have any that you want me to try or if you would just like my opinion on, put it in the comments and I will try to find it within a week. Uh, Cause I'll be posting a video next week, so. Comment what you would like me to try or buy. Anyways, have a fabulous rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.